Well, so many big teams have come to Highmark so far this season, including MLS opposition. But Highmark is as hungry as it's ever been in this campaign. With 11 minutes left in the first half, Pittsburgh has had the better of it. We're still waiting for our first big chance. Oh, goalkeeper's off his line here. And it's chipped over him, but well wide of the goal in the end. And out of nowhere, Lou City had a big chance there. Zamudio did not read this correctly. A taste of their own medicine. Beautiful run by Oscar Jimenez. We were just addressing Luke Biasi and Tani Rivera for the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Great look. Oscar Jimenez coming high on that line. That's the one thing with Tellefson rotating onto this front three tonight because of that normal positional locationing within the central midfield. He just pops up off that right-hand side. He's going to have this luxury where if he feels comfortable, he comes down underneath to combine. You'll have that right side flank open. Mushigalus is in here for Lou City, and he can't finish. Osumanu gets a crucial challenge in on him. It goes wide. It's a Lou City corner in the end. About the long ball up over the top, though. All of a sudden, you've got support, and we asked for more out of Elijah Winder. Good job just holding serve down underneath Wilson Harris as this continues forth. Tellefson in the middle. Harris's first touch lets him down. Bounces out of play. It did take a deflection on the way through. And Lou City will get a corner, which might be the last act of the half. Jimenez sets it up. Two minutes will be up when he strikes it. And as his ball in is dangerous, it is palmed away by Zamudio. Gibson tries to pick up the pieces. Rivera helps it out of his own penalty area. And that is how the first 45 ends here at Highmark. Ibarra getting a boot in there. We'll stay with Lou City on the far side. One quick update for you, by the way. It was 1-0 San Diego when we just checked in at the half. It's now 2-0 San Diego in Indy. That is the other major USL championship game going on as we speak. It is a big night ahead. We've had a heck of a game to start off a big night of USL championship soccer. Who can find the first big pivotal moment? Harris, certainly capable of it. He gets it back from Mushigalusa and pushes it into the penalty area. Harris puts it on a plate, and the ball hits off the post as it headed off the line. Lou City celebrate, but is it a goal? Did it go over the line? Wilson Harris and company go up to the official. Harris is booked. The referees are discussing it as we speak. It's just such a difficult look here. Great run by Wilson Harris, and notice how he holds and Yellow waits. His slight Wilson hesitation Harris. allows this thing to come back to the penalty mark. Does it end up in? Again, it's... Couldn't agree more. It was so close. Ordonez was the one who just got it out of harm's way. Again, Wilson Harris, who's still irate here, thought it was over the line. He was booked for descent for running up to the assist on the near side. It leads to a corner for Lou City. Tellefson, and he's headed on, but it comes back to Tellefson for a recycle. Sent back in by Jimenez, maybe Tosh has three goals this season. Tried to put it close to frame, wasn't able to. Etu commits a foul, he lunges in and follows through. And I believe that was Amadou Dia. Yellow card is out for him. You can prepare all you want in sport and especially in the USL Championship. You just never quite know what's going to happen. Here's Mushigalusa for Lou City. Wilson, can, Wilson Harris, I should say, continued his run. It was cut out. Mushigalusa was dispossessed. Here's Forbes, lovely first touch into space. Slows the attack down for a moment. Ibarra's in support. Has some space here to maraud into. Here's Griffin. Griffin pings one to the far side. It's perfectly weighted. 
will be a chance here to cross. Biasi's ball in is a good one. Griffin heads it down centrally. Forbes does as well. And then that two skies it. It's been almost anemic at the start of the second half here for the Pittsburgh Riverhounds attacking wise. But the back post run of Danny Griffin active once again. We've seen that twice already, but the third time as he comes square, just finds that two. But it's still a very difficult take for him. The ball's really high. You're caught in between whether or not you want to challenge with your head or go with the spectacular. The latter proves him wrong. Griffin. And still smashes it into Sharpie, who blocks it. And a little bit of a tumbling challenge there. Pittsburgh don't like any of it. Forbes is booked. Tellefson wins a free kick. Pushing his hand on the counterattack to try and commit a professional foul. Instead, just watch the momentum of the player as he comes back across. It's just a smart touch by Tellefson. Chipped forward by Rivera. Etu tried to slide it through, had two choices. He ended up splitting the difference and it ends up going right to Zemla. Forbes and Shoanmi are making veering runs there. Lusha in tight quarters, was able to keep possession for Lou City and then had some rotting run near the penalty area and a follow through from Elijah Winder. And Winder sees yellow. Space, and as he beats him in the one-on-one -on -one matchup, Canardo Forbes is tracking back on the pressure. That touch right there, though. Elijah Winder is... Most notably there, Burke Failing comes on, does have a goal, two assists to his name so far this season. And Langston Blackstock is a like-for-like -like change, but can certainly make an impact himself. Gibson, out wide for Dia. Dia curling one into the path of Mushigalusa. Pressured by Farrell, Biasi. Mushigalusa gets through both, gets into the penalty area, and can't hit the target with his strike. It's defensively that the Pittsburgh Riverhounds are scratching their heads trying to figure out exactly what went on. Paranormal Circus comes to town. Well, that's in the form of Matiti who tattoos this thing into the gray lot parking ticket valley at Highmark. And Danny Cruz lining up a couple of personnel to help. Oh, it's failing! Doesn't count. Failing heads it in, flag is up, and Pittsburgh's big moment is wiped out by the offside flag. Blue City will get a chance now to make some subs. Manny Perez, Niall McCabe, and Martin Powells are all going to come on here. Looks like Gibson, Tellefson are going to come off. Just to confirm the three changes one more time. Manny Perez, Niall McCabe, Martin Powells all came on. Oscar Jimenez, Tyler Gibson, and Rasmus Tellefson all exit for Lou City. Their first three changes of the night in one go. And with 15 minutes left, Pittsburgh scored, didn't count. And again, we stay at level pegging. Failing is brought down here. Sharpie's challenge. He's going to see him get a yellow card. Here, does he have the legs to keep up as this game continues on? With the excellent movement we saw from Tyler Gibson going side to side, closing down. Find a teammate in the penalty area here. McCabe's ball in. It's headed by Lancaster, but deflected on the way through. Musha Galusa tries to recycle it, but he loses out. But Blackstock on the back end. Gives possession back to Lou City. Perez. Back for McCabe.
Cave. Another note from that Indy San Diego game. Devin, it's now 2 2. If you can believe that. <laughs> of course it is. Because of course it is. Indy 11 down to 10 men and searching for a response. Well, they get it. Is there anything left in that match is the real question. What a ball that is. Perez. Great cross into the middle. Chance for Lancaster to control. Tried to win a free kick. And he handled it on his way down. It's a Pittsburgh free kick instead. And Lancaster for descent here sees yellow. Argument because it's not just necessarily the the verbiage used towards the referee, but Cameron Lancaster prohibiting Marky Barra the opportunity to quick fire the other direction. All right, with this result staying as it is, especially with how much time is left. That's going to trickle out of play for a Pittsburgh goal kick. Four minutes are up. Will there be one last chance, or are we just going to see this end here, waiting for Austin Sini's whistle? Sent forward by Zamudio. And the match ends here at Highmark. Well, it was a clash of the Titans in Pittsburgh tonight.